Welcome to Fires to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful circular building. In this iteration, for my build, my viewers requested that I make it when we were making our villa. I personally am using it as my alchemist sanctuary, but it can be used for whatever you want. A temple, a refuge, a lounge spot. 100% up to you, so let's get into it. Okay, so we just took a look at my alchemy station, and we've now moved to my testing area. This is where we are going to build this lovely circular building that can be used for all sorts of things. If you find this information helpful and interesting, please ensure you like, subscribe, and share this content with your fellow defiers so they can learn how to make these beautiful structures as well. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you post them in the comments below. Go with a small pillar. I'm going to put this pillar right here. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to get a snap point that I'm looking for. And then what I'm, one of the other things I like to do is I like to take that small pillar and I put another one on top of it. Okay, you'll see why in the end. Then I'm going to take a regular ceiling tile <clears throat> and I'm going to snap a corner of it to that pillar. I'm going to use the corner of this and I am going to use the scroll wheel to make that shape right there. Then I'm going to go to the next corner using the structure I just placed down, just moving over slightly, playing with my scroll wheel to get them to all line up in this way. So as you see, we're down to, we have this entire side done, and then we have these two lined up together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, just like we did on the previous one, except for you see it doesn't snap into it, so what you're going to do is you're going to play with that with the scroll wheel to get it to go where you want it to. And you're going to continue that process all the way around still. And this is where the fun part comes in because now we have so many pieces in here that it's going to want to snap to different ones. But we can use that still because they're so close together now. We can continue to use them just using that scroll wheel to get them to snap where we want them. We'll end up with a structure that looks like this. Now, <clears throat> for this structure, what we're going to do is we are then going to go into our construction inventory. We're going to go to our walls. And me personally, I prefer this wall right here, the small stone wall. So I'm going to, because it has some more neatness at the top and it gives, it gives me the angles I want. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to select it rather. And I'm going to go to the corner of each one of these star points that we have here. And I am going to line it up just like that. You see how it glitches in just slightly on here that's what we're looking for for each one of the star points so we're going to do that all the way around the structure you have to move around a little bit to get it to do what you want sometimes but you will see the end result in just a minute as we speed through this And then we'll end up with a structure that looks like this. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to remove all these large stair, all these large or regular ceiling tiles.
For now, we're going to leave the pillar right where it's at. The next step is to go back to the floors and we're going to grab the small ceiling tile. We are going to line each one of these up with every single one of the walls that we just put in. Whoops. Sorry about that. I think I messed one. Yep, this one's messed up. So we're going to pick this one up and we're going to replace it. There we go. And what we end up with is a structure that looks like so. Now, what I like to do is you can do this any way you want. But what I like to do is I like to add a little depth and difference into my builds. So... For my next step, I am going to use the wood stairs. So I'm going to go into my build inventory. I'm going to go to the stairs. And I'm going to pick the stone stair small exterior. Now with these, it's going to be fun. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here. And we're going to go to each one of the ceiling tiles we just put down. And we're going to line the stairs up with those ceiling tiles. Now, it can be quite finicky to get this done, but just stick with it and play with that scroll wheel and you'll get them to line up the way you want them to. I have found that looking at it in this angle does make it easier to do this. And once we're done, once we've made it all the way around, we're going to end up look with a structure that looks like so. So at this point, we are going to land, and I'm going to remove the top column here, and I'm going to use that center point that we established earlier for the next part, which is decorative. You do not have to do it this way. There's other methods you can use. So I'm going to grab my small floors, my small ceiling tiles, and I am going to basically use the same technique we did in the beginning, but this time I'm using the small ceiling tiles for the center, for the center. And this time what you're looking at is you're going to be looking at the way the structure or the setup of the spacing here in between each section. So let's go back and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we have our first one set and we want to make it to where it's a 45. You see how it cuts right here? We want to do that. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. We're Okay, come on. Stop being silly, you. We can do... What we can do with that is literally have it lined up perfectly with the one next to it. So we can put these two down and then we can click on that one and then play with it, get that, and then see how the other one falls into place right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us this particular look for our structure. Now, 
you may be asking yourself, well, how do I do the, that roof you did, Mikey? We will get to that. First, we're going to establish where our entrance is going to be. So for this build, we're going to make our entrance right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the stairs, and I'm going to go to the stone exterior small stairs. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is I want to get it right. So we're going to do our center point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those stairs here, and I'm just going to play with them a little bit to get where we want. Now, the next th I'm using the stair, the wall for the first stair, and then I'm using the ceiling tile for the second stair and the third stair to get the angles I am looking for. There we go. Like so. And then I will place these stairs like so. Now you can play with this as much as you want to try and get these to line up, but I have found that they won't really curve too much. So if you leave that just right like so, you're fine. And you now have your entryway. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our, go to the decor and we're gonna grab our regular pillars, our regular pillars right here, okay? And we are gonna place them on the on each corner so here like so making sure not to mess with the with the mouse wheel as as soon as we start playing with the mouse wheel it changes the orientation of these wheel of the columns which we do not want for our next step coming up. So the next step, now that we have these all placed, we are gonna place these in the height that we want. So for me, I'm gonna go up three. I'm gonna have it three columns high I think that's a decent height for what we're building right now as an example. Now remember, you can go as high or as you can keep it as you can do this as high or as low as you want depending on the structure that you're using this for. Okay, now that we have those set, it should look like this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our inventory. We're going to go to our roofs. You can pick whatever roof you want, depending on how your structure is being made. Me, I'm going to go with the sloped stone roof here. And I'm going to pick, doesn't matter which one you start with, any of them to start. I'm going to pick this one here. Okay, and I want the roof to slant inward I want the roof inward once I can get it to aha and what I'm trying what I'm looking for is to get it to look something like that where it's snapped here but it's almost going off on this side so I'm going to do the same thing to all of them going all the way around The hard part is finding the right angle to do this in. There it is. So if you find the right angle, you can literally, just with one touch of the scroll wheel, oops, and I spoke too soon. I must have hit the scroll wheel. There we go. We can get each one of these to snap into the place we want, like so. And 
And we're going to speed this up so that you don't have to sit through me doing the entire thing. So you can see what the finished result would look like. Once that is done, you will have this lovely look from the top all the way around your structure, the roof of your structure. And if you go on the inside here and you look up, you have this lovely design on the inside with the roofs that I used. Now, the next part is 100% up to you on how you're going to do it. Myself, what I like to do is I remove almost all the pillars. You don't want to remove them all at once because as soon as you do all these columns here, as soon as you remove all of them, you will no longer be providing support to the ceiling, which will make it fall. And then what I do is I see, okay, so I have four here for my entrance. So I'm going to go to the decor and I'm going to pick the, the columns that I want on it. So for me, I'm going to go with the thick columns here and I'm going to go up to, and then I'm going to grab the cap and I'm going to put the cap there. Since I know that's what I want to do here, I only have to remove that there, throw that on there, and then grab the bottom piece for this here. Now, I know it's not lining up quite right because of the stairs. I know it's there. That, that's all that matters for me. And then what I like to do is every other pillar set I remove the large columns. And the reason I do that is because I like to put statues in there, in its place. So we're going to speed through that for you so you can see what it'll look like after I finish this. So I found an error here where it comes out odd. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick these up. That's one of the good things about this game is you can pick up your stuff without losing your shirt when it comes to materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this by doing this instead. So this is post-production Mikey Defires. I found that my spacing was off. So what you see me doing here quickly is adjusting it and finding that right combination of spacing to ensure that it looks right for the design I'm going for. In doing so, I ended up having to remove or rather take it from four stairs down to two stairs to get the spacings between the pillars to my liking. Now, as I said earlier, you can design this as you see fit. So if you want to do it differently, that's 100% up to you. You make sure you do it in your style to your liking. And what you'll end up with is this here. I sometimes put statues in here. I've put a statue right in the middle and make it a shrine. That's 100% up to you on what you want to do with it. Defiers, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content such as this. And in the comments below, 
Let me know what you would use this build for in your playthrough of Dawn of Defiance. See you next time.